stay, so he could yeah. occasionally come down here. Yeah, so seeing the Roy, <laughs> who uh, I mean, Ooh. I was I was like uh, overhearing it. I didn't see any of their friendlies, but I was overhearing him play friendlies with Azalea, mm. and uh, I think he was he was liking the Roy a bit better than the Ike, oh, which yeah. is understandable in that. Understandable. Eye, <laughs> and uh, I take it this is probably Nine's first time playing GP, because uh, I don't know. Actually, she has been to uh, OSL before, I think, um, oh. under his new management. Yeah, I'm actually not sure, so maybe is it their first time playing or well it's not going too well for Nines right now, just no. trying to find a way Still back. Still making it back. I, I every time I think Sonic's dead he isn't. I think his there's something about his recovery that just uh, I don't understand, along with most of the character actually. But um Sonic imagine, gets away with so much, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, because like like it, it sounded like GP was preferring Roy against uh, uh, Azalea. Um, the Nike, which is understandable in the matchup. And I mean, this matchup's also understandable why you'd want to go Roy, but obviously, I mean, he did beat Pelly, so... Yeah, I mean, this I matchup, it, it's not too bad for Ike, honestly. It's just that if Sonic gets the lead, then uh, yeah, that's, good luck. Yeah. But. I think, yeah, I imagine GP's more uh, just wanting to try out his Roy and Bracky. He mm. often uh, does it in the first couple of rounds. And obviously, this is his first uh, set of the day as he had a bye. Oh, yeah. His second seed. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like um, he he has gone Roy at OSL as well. Yeah, so definitely experienced in bracket, but maybe just you know get more experience of just having him as a secondary for these kind of matchups. Okay, making it back there. Um, Nine starting to get something going. That threatening force match is not going to do it though. Mm. Oh, but that. Dash attack just catching the, the defensive roll there. And now Nine's already on the last stock. How are you going to bring this back? You've got to just find something. Or or are you thinking about game two? What do you think? Um, a bit too late? Uh, I don't know. I feel like she's already kind of being a bit desperate for kills. And mm. uh, I think generally, like from what I've played against her, because she's switched around characters a lot. And I know oh, yeah. uh, Sonic isn't like her... her one and only main, but I think she's been sticking to him for at least the past couple of weeks. And okay. uh, from the last few times I've played her, I definitely think she often struggles okay. finding those kills outside of, like, she doesn't get the kind of usual Sonic uh, kind of setups and edge guards and stuff more than mm. she often just, like, fishes for a forward smash or something like mm. that. And uh, as we, uh, I was going to say, as we can see, it hasn't really been working. She did finally get a stock just there. I mean, it is, a, it is a good enough move that eventually it might work, but <laughs> not before you're already on oh, your last stock and getting side, side B by Roy in the B. corner. That side B would have killed like 50% ago. Mm -hmm. So there was really no chance for, for her to recover there. But we'll, we'll see what happens game two. Um, and she will be switching to Pyramithra, okay. which... Okay. Probably a good choice, actually, I mm. think. Because, I mean, I mean, Sonic is good, but Pyro Mithra is just, like, that character is not okay. Mm. And this is also a character that GPs tried out. Mm. But I, I think uh, Pyro Mithra were at one point, like, the same kind of, uh, like, what his Roy is now, where yes. he kind of fundamentally kind of gets on with them, at least, like, in terms of neutral and stuff, but doesn't, like, have the execution or time to like dedicate to get the execution down mm. yeah gp gp like i feel like he could play like almost any sword character if he really wanted to yeah. he just have those fundamentals down um mm. it's almost it's almost like ike but not quite you know what i yeah. mean yeah <laughs> Okay, having a strong 50-ish percent mm -hmm. lead now. It, it felt, yeah, it felt like uh, Nines was getting her hits in at the start. But yeah. I mean, when they're not linking into the big Mithra advantage states, it doesn't necessarily lead into all that much damage. And I mean, we're starting to see those hits kind of rack up a bit now. But yeah, you, your advantage state as Mithra has to be on point. You know, you have to know your combos. You have to be able to just optimize the damage that you can get out of every neutral interaction. Okay, the jab up air there. I don't know if there's an abbreviation for that, but okay, the back air is going to do it. 
And now it's up to nine to catch up again. Hmm. Okay, bringing out the Pyra. I feel like this switch may... Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I feel like this switch may have more been informed by uh, just wanting to keep up in the kills department because we saw her really struggle to even get that first kill off GP, whereas uh, now she's answered back like pretty swiftly with the uh, the beefy Pyra down here. And um, I mean, that's fair enough. If, if you want to treat like Mithra as if you were playing Sonic and then <laughs> Pyra is just your kill button. <laughs> I like that analogy so much. <laughs> that's like a perfect description of how like Pyramithra and um, yeah. Sonic are different. Um, okay, and you know, this is a much more even game. The uh, mm. Pyramithra are definitely working out so far. Off the ledge, and here comes the kill button. Yeah. Will it do Will it do what it needs to do? Pyro, you have one job. Let's see if you can do it. Okay, and what's the defensive option going to be? Oh, oh, missing the, uh, the jab back there. Mm. Unfortunate. Nines having another chance at life. What can you do with mm. it? Yeah, it seems like she kind of felt like, right, uh, playing play Pyro in neutral just kind of got me sent into the corner, so I might mm. just uh, get the one hit I need to get GP into the corner and then switch back. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's a lot of, like a lot, <coughs> a lot of times that can happen with um, Pyro Mithra. It's like you switch to Pyro and then you get hit for like 50% and you're like, yeah, I should probably switch now, you know. I overheard uh, when, when GP and Azalea were playing that uh, Azalea said something along the lines of, I have to stop rolling in. And uh, <laughs> I kept seeing GP keeps trying to cover tech roll in when he gets like a down tilt oh. or something. <laughs> but Nines keeps rolling out and uh, Azalea has successfully conditioned GP for Nines. <laughs> it's like the read when you you don't have any data, but you're like, I know. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I know. <laughs> We're gonna go for this. I always, I always, I definitely default to tech roll in. I remember when I started playing Smash, mm -hmm. tech roll in seemed to me like always the scrub thing to do. Yeah. But I think there's like, it's different tiers. It's like tech roll in is like super scrub. Then people who like understand the game like a bit and know not to do it start tech rolling out all the time. Mm -hmm. And then good players start tech rolling in because everyone goes to like cover tech roll yeah. out. And it's like a sine wave almost. It's like you're playing MKLO, you get the, you get the I think down tilt or whatever, he rolls in, yeah. you're like, damn. Yeah. Oh, that's going to do it. Yeah. Damn. Unfortunate, because uh, Nines did take that uh, that first second stock, but uh, mm. yeah, definitely getting something going there. Yeah. <coughs> oh. um, I think I'm gonna be on stream. Yeah, I, I think so. I'll let you out.